Today we will make a paper mouth organ. Here is the finished product. And when I blow into it, it produces sound. And let's see how one can make it. Take a paper. This paper has been cut from a newspaper and this is three fingers broad and four fingers long. Length is four fingers and breadth is three fingers. Now I fold this paper into two halves. And these corners I will fold them like this to have a triangular fold here. Similarly on the other end I will have another triangular fold. Then this left of a piece, this left of a piece, I'll fold it, I ro I'll roll it twice. To get a shape of this kind. Similarly, I'll reverse the model and roll it twice. Now I get model shape like this. And if I open it, it will look like a boat. This is a paper folding boat and paper folding is the Japanese art called origami. And now I hold this paper boat and cut its bottom. I, now it looks like this. And if I blow into it, let's see what happens. It produces sound. Using this model, children can be taught that sound is produced by vibrations. And a sounding body is always in a state of vibrations. Children can investigate by taking papers of different areas and find out the relationship between the area of the vibrating body and the loudness coming from it. It will be seen that larger the area of a sounding body, the louder will be the sound coming out of it.